Hello again, everyone. I'm Steve, and we are back with RetroTech's refurbishment and re restoration of the Sony PVM uh, 1353 OEV Olympus uh, 142. I've got the capacitor job done, as you saw in the last video, and today is all about reassembling the monitor and then testing it to make sure our work was not for nothing. Um, this is honestly the most nerve-wracking and nervous point in all of this to make sure that I didn't do something wrong to either hurt the monitor or make it not work uh, at all. Uh, so just know that you're always risking that when you do these kind of jobs. You could damage something and end up with a much bigger project than you anticipated. But anyway, today let's go ahead and look at the monitor. I've almost got it fully reassembled, but I wanted to walk you through that process so you could see how to do it. Let's go ahead and start to reassemble our PVM now. The first thing you need to do is remember to screw your black slip plate back onto your board underneath, just the four screws. And then you slide it back in along the tracks a little bit. It slides in a lot easier than when it was coming out, but see, it just slides in a lot easier. But you want to do is don't just push it all the way back. Go ahead and connect the, the, the top portion of the board back there with all the other connectors because there's a lot of connectors up there and it'll be hard to get to them if you push it in. So I've gone ahead and done that, connected all of them up front, just all the connections that match and there should be every single one up at the top of the board and then you'll have a bunch of cords you want to pull behind and they'll go to different spots in these other boards. So I'm just going to go ahead now and slide this right back into where it pretty much belongs and it sits, you can see it, on a track, kind of. Uh, the first thing I want to get back in there is this little board that is under my power supply. And that's pretty simple. Just plugs in over here and a socket it's got for itself. But um, the next thing I want to do is, the last thing I want to put in is this board. Next thing I want to probably try to put back is my input board here, and just like the other one, so I've got three three cables that are going to connect from here to there, and then um, this one's going to the yoke. So I think what I want to try to do first is just go ahead and connect these. So like I said, these color match, and slip them back where they belong and uh, it's pretty easy to reassemble so I'm just going to continue on with this and then like I said there's a couple of these that you'll need to go back up here where we did took them off of our um, backboard here so because it was easier than Taking them away from the front. There's still one more. Let's see, there it is. And um, man, I tell you, this is really like kind of exciting, but it's also it makes me really, really nervous because um, you it, it just you never can tell. You hope you didn't do anything wrong, but you could make a little mistake and damage something in the process of just even moving things around. So that's it. So now all my cables back here are reconnected. I'm just going to slip this board back where it belongs in here. And um, I'll worry about cleaning up my wiring after I test it. And so now is the fun part too. Because we're going to slide this cool looking board right on the back here. Um, and you can see that that's just going to be what I'm going to do next. Be careful, just make sure you line things up. You don't really want to bend anything. You want to do more of a um, slow, there you go, even push just so you get everything lined up perfectly. Right in there. And there's a couple of connectors. I've got three more cables to connect from the board up here. And then another two spots, a ground cable, and then a control cable. 
There it is. And so, that's all of those. So let's scoot in a little bit. And the last thing is putting our fly back back in here. So, fly back was in there like that, and I think that loop went in there. If I remember correctly okay so anyway make sure it's clean in your cap and um, should be able to squeeze this a little bit hopefully but you're gonna want to just try to work in one edge of this and then push it against the other to get it back in there and be careful not to try to you know bend this or not be gentle with it. it should just like snap in there kind of on the first part and then put your cap down make sure it's good and sealed all right we're getting real close now go ahead and snap that back in there and i've got a couple of ground spots i'm going to connect and then i'm going to clean up my wiring and then we're going to fire it up and see how it how it works Well, welcome back. I've got the monitor completely reassembled for the first time. We're going to take a look inside closer so you can just see the important things to remember. Make sure that your neck board's lined up properly with your CRT gun there. And then again, all your connections are made. Just make sure, double check, make sure nothing's loose. Uh, everything has looked good. Um, we've again inserted the anode cap got it ready I've got my ground connections all connected over here and then uh, you can see it's pretty much ready to, it's been fully reassembled and it's ready to turn on so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna plug in uh, a video source which is the Super Nintendo again just to test it and make sure that it's gonna turn on uh, so I'm gonna use my SCART input here and then I'm going to put in the power cable too um, also so I want to make sure that everything works still even the audio on it so I'll put that in there and um, this is I'm not going to calibrate it right yet if it works I'm just being, honestly this is like the most again nerve-wracking and nervous time is oh so I don't know if you just heard that but it definitely just kicked on because I didn't realize the button was pushed in that's what can happen in uh, recording here when we're looking at a PVM so just let me look around front and turn on oh yes so I am very happy so far because look at that we've got our signal here and obviously we can see we're gonna have to do some geometry settings especially on our vertical size and centerness, but that's not a big problem. That'll be easy. That's from the service menu. Um, the yoke may be tilted a little. I cannot tell. I don't think it is. It's just hard to say. Maybe a little bit, but wow. So that's what you want to see is, oh yeah, everything just working here. Menus. Okay, great. Um, RGB. So this thing will get run through a full gamut of tests. And so let's just go ahead and press start on here and see if the volume will work. Why not? So, I mean, even without making any adjustments, there we go, we got some sound. It looks great. Perfect. Awesome. So this thing just needs to do some adjustment settings. Looks beautiful, man. Sharp. It's attack. Great looking move, monitor here. Wow. And obviously our, our we're kind of over scanned. So let's see what happens. If under scans working. Over scans working. Everything. You guys. Yep. Um, so I don't have the paint in. So I'm just gonna release this video the way it is. Another short kind of intermediate one of the monitor hooked back up and obviously running and working uh, the next time I will get the paint for the shell we'll take apart the shell finish it 
and then we'll come back and we will calibrate this thing and get it working beautifully looking great um, but man awesome finish to the I mean I guess this is almost the fourth video quasi video I mean we had the little tool video so the two bigger videos and now two shorter videos and then we'll have one final video uh, to end up this series on the PVM thanks again for watching today I'm Steve have a great afternoon